Caravan Salon, 31st of August 2017. This is Blissmobile and uh, one of my readers did ask me to film this and I've seen the vehicle before, uh, three years ago and it's pretty impressive really. Uh, it's one of these times where you wish I had a much wider angle as many people say to me I should get. Anyway, unfortunately we've got, I've got what I've got and so we'll film in this way. Now this is a vehicle for highly rugged environments. It's a bit like a container itself, if you like. Indeed, the, uh, the vehicle, uh, the habitation area, can be left somewhere and the vehicle can move off entirely by itself. It's a bit like your own house somewhere you find, which is interesting. Let's have a look at some of the electronics. You can see how much it can carry on the back anyway. And the spare wheel is probably useful with places you like to go with something like this. You've got your, your, your waste water and your black water dump, you've got your 230 volts, you've got to see the battery voltage immediately up there. You can see how it, the, the base, the Mercedes base vehicle, and here, with there uh, being no connection between one and the two, how you can indeed leave the habitation unit. Now, obviously, off road, you're going to have to get up a set of stairs. Which brings you into the habitation area itself. Now this has got a completely metal frame, so that will be good on the rough terrain. You may think it's a big vehicle, doesn't have much room inside, but let's bear in mind where you're likely to be going to. And not only that, this company will uh, produce to order. The bed is above the seating area, and here we've got induction heating because there is 400... Uh, amps of lithium batteries in there and that produces quite a lot of electricity. The roof is covered with solar so there's plenty coming in as well so you don't have to worry about the use of gas. Now for an off-road vehicle you may still however be wanting to do some cooking in this perfectly uh, adequate a domestic sized sink, you've got prep area there and of course at the table as well. Coming through here you see you've got toilet on one side, okay this is a more or less standard sort of camper van sort of stuff, there you go and in here as well you have the shower which is also, uh, well it's got the heating unit in there but it's more or less sort of I wouldn't say standard but it's much higher standard than we see in most motorhomes it's that sort of thing that you may have at home and at the back here you've got storage it's an unusual way of putting storage but you've got storage on either side so this bit in the, the middle is for the doors to open so this is where they keep the beer uh, which is up there you might want to do the same alternatively you want, might want to use that as hanging space and also you've got here as well storage and I don't know how to open the thing properly so I won't oh there it goes it comes out there you go so that's where you can keep your, your crisps there you go not the thought sort of thing I eat right and in here more storage and one thing that comes with it is a radio up there so that's the what it looks like inside one of these tough um, uh, motorhomes <laughs> built for Africa, Siberia, large areas of the world where you are completely on your own in the middle of nowhere. And there it says, know how to travel under extreme conditions. And it's the sort of thing that appeals to. I mean, it appealed to me, but I'm still a bit of a nutter as far as these things are, are concerned. I think it looks pretty good. There'll be far more information on my website, so please have a look at that, because what you really want to know is more information about the engine and uh, the, that sort of stuff. And to be quite honest, I just don't know it off the top of my head. So have a look at my, at my website, and you'll find it on there.